3D Rising is down at the King of Spring event in North Carolina. And we just watched St. Mark's out of Texas take down Wando from South Carolina by a score of 9-4. to four. We're talking to Hayward Lee, the head coach at uh, St. Mark's. Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, just take us through that victory and, and how things are going for you. Thanks, Casey. Uh, I thought that was a good battle uh, between two very competitive teams. Um, you know, a lot of credit to, uh, to Wando. They're very athletic and well coached, um, and they play hard. Uh, I think. I think for us, you know, John Gunn and our goaltender really stood out uh, when, when we did break down defensively. He erased a lot of those mistakes, um, and I thought offensively we showed a lot of patience and a lot of balance. Very pleased with how we executed today. We had uh, nine goals from eight different scores, so we had a lot of guys contribute and uh, you know, are very patient. They're an early slide defense, so it requires some patience uh, to be able to get the ball backside, attack their recovery, and, uh, and look inside and look to skip. And you know, I thought we created some good looks for ourselves. Um, and you know, credit to our, our guys for playing hard. Um, and, uh, and credit to Wando. I thought it was a good game, and hopefully both teams will walk away uh, better off for the uh, competition. We travel so many places to watch high school lacrosse, and sometimes non-traditional hotbed teams are, are top-heavy with a few kids that are you know, the clearly most talented players. And it seems that you've got a really balanced squad, as you just indicated by the score today, uh, the spread in scoring. Just talk about your approach to developing the talent on the team and how, and how you've approached that over the last few years. Well, you know, I think we really don't have stars. Uh, you know, the, we don't have, uh, at St. Mark's, we're, we're not going to get as many elite players as maybe some of the other schools, but you know, we've got a lot of very solid players. And you know, if we're going to if we're going to be um, a good team, if we're going to have the kind of season that we want, we've got to make the whole greater than the sum of its parts, and we've got to function with great chemistry and great uh, understanding collectively. So. You know, we spent a lot of time working, uh, you know, our execution as a team and trying to create chemistry and understanding. We have very intelligent kids, so I really enjoy coaching them uh, from the standpoint of having a, a conversation, coaching style, and trying to solve lacrosse problems together and getting their feedback. Um, you know, that that's one of the fun things is when you have really intelligent kids they can at times uh, compensate for you know what they may lack in overall athleticism. That's a great point, uh, and I'm sure you found out a lot about them in the last couple of days here at the King of Spring. You come up from Texas and you get a chance to see some teams from different states and different locations. Just talk about the event and uh, I guess what you got out of it so far. Well, this event's fantastic, and so much respect and credit to John Lancey for putting this together. He is the best. Um, and. You know, he does it all to raise, uh, you know, money to, to fight children's cancer. And, uh, you know, we love being a part of that. We have got a great respect for John and for all the teams that come down here. We had a great battle last night with uh, Stab. We've played them uh, several years at this event. And, you know, uh, Bo does an awesome job with that group. But we went to sudden death overtime last night, and I know both teams got a lot out of that. Uh, so, you know, we love coming down here, participating in a great cause, uh, being around great teams, great coaches, and, and this fabulous North Carolina spring weather. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I think we might get a chance to play in some snow tomorrow night. Coach, you have such an interesting story. You're from Connecticut. You played at Washington and Lee. You go to, you go to Texas. You've won titles, and you've since left and came back to the program, and it seems like they liked you so much that there was no choice almost in the matter. Just take us through that story and, <laughs> and how you feel to be there now, I guess. Well, uh, they, um, they asked me if I would come back um, prior to last year, and you know I'm happy to, to serve my school. So I had a good run there for a while. I thought it was time for somebody else to come in and, and, and take over. And, uh, and, and Francis did a terrific job and took, uh, took a great job for him in Southern California. So they asked me if, if I would come back. And uh, you know I enjoy St. Mark's. Uh, I think very highly of our school, and I love working for our headmaster and the people, our athletic director, the people there, and and I love our families, and you know I'm I'm honored to to serve uh, in the capacity of coach, and and I'll serve uh, I'll serve as long as they ask me to. Coach, we have a great a great amount of respect for Texas lacrosse, having been to the state championships there three years in a row. Just talk about what you see in your team and where you think you need to be or improve to be uh, standing at the end of the season. Well, there's some really good teams uh, in the state, and we've had an opportunity to play, you know, a couple of them, and, uh, and and we'll see a lot more going forward. 
you know, I think it, it, it comes back to it comes back to our two things, I think, for us. It comes back to the skill with which we play, and it comes down to the decisions that we make. Um, so we've got to get the most out of our skill level. You know, skills win games, um, but decision making also wins games. And you know, the more we can put our guys in great games like today and great games like last night, the, the more we can see what decisions we make are good decisions, what decisions we make what we need to take back and never make again, and continually put our guys in situations where they can refine their skills, refine their decision making. And I think, you know, I like our chances competing with anyone. We, we may not be the most talented team, but we'll certainly, uh, we'll certainly play hard. And, uh, and, and give our best account of ourselves. We got a ton of respect for uh, you know, so many of the teams that we play in Texas, and we could have a great season and do the best we can and come up short, you know, come up way short. So um, you know, I think we, we're just focused on doing the best that we can, and, and we'll see what happens. That's what this journey is all about, right? Boys into good men through a great game that demands uh, discipline and toughness and execution and, and hard work. Coach, thanks so much for your time and congrats on the win. Thanks, Casey, and thanks so much for being here and for supporting lacrosse everywhere. We love your website, and uh, we just uh, appreciate everything you do to promote the game. Thank you.